Hey Mac, what's up? This is George, and I'm gonna show you guys some of my World War II Marine Corps dead stock tops and trousers, as well as some well used stuff. We'll get into Paramarine as well. Uh, this is a cool set, it's a 1942 dated. And the cool thing about it, it's also size 42, so I thought that was fucking cool. All right, and then here's the trousers here, and they're also dated, as you can see, December 23rd, 1942. And that's a cool little set. When we get into these here, these are your, what you call the P44 Sage. And these are a son of a bitch to find, I don't know why. There was some limited use at the tail end of the war with these suckers, and they're really cool. And these are tag right here and the trousers are in beautiful condition too still has the ties attached those are ink blotted as well for date and stuff here's a cool set too this one's going to be a december of 28 1943 that's a size 40 which is kind of a good size to have as you know and these are ink dated as well. These are going to be 10-6-43, so they're October. I believe these also have the tag here they are, in the pocket. Here's a set of September 4, 1944. These also come with the beautiful trousers. I believe these are going to be ink stamped. And these are, I believe it looks like May of, May 18th, 1943. This is a pretty cool piece. I like this piece because it has the, what they call the round pocket or, or semi-round pocket. This is the late, of, late part of the war. And a lot of people confuse these for the P-47 top. As you can see, it's got the cool chevrons a guy added to them. And it does have the two button holes, which is going to make it a World War II. The P-47s have one, they eliminated one hole. And this one is cool because you can actually see the date, so there's no argument about the pocket. And it's the 27th of July, 1944. Here's what they call the, the P-44 Modified. And these are pretty interesting. It's a kind of a cool tint on it. And it's got its cool little helmet cover here tucked away. Always good to find little surprises when you buy stuff. And these also come with the trousers. And the good thing about these is actually a pretty decent size. It's 36, 34, so at some point somebody measured them and decided to mark them accordingly. Now these are a son of a bitch to find. These are the P42s, and they're dead stock. And it also has the helmet cover which is also named. This guy was a corpsman on a minesweeper. And he was also an Ewa. And here's a beautiful set of trousers. And these are actually in grunt gear on one of the pages. Now we get into the paramarine top. Here's a helmet cover. Let's stash this sucker in here again. And these are pretty cool. And it's got a set of P44 trousers for the meanwhile, because I don't have the thousands of dollars for the trousers it takes to have these. Well, that's a cool piece. I recently picked that up. And here's some cool stuff that is kind of used, but it's cool because it shows the frog skin and the beach side out. You know, and the P41, which is really a lot of use with that combination. Here's a late set, okay? This has a, the NOM number, and it's dated July of 44. And it's actually size 44 as well. And the cool thing is it actually has the dead stock P44s with it. That's a pretty piece and a really big size, hard to find. And just here's some more of the Sage with the P-42 trousers. Some more combinations. This guy 
this guy was cool. He was injured twice. He was at Iwo, Saipan, and I believe Guadalcanal. And he's got his little uni mark right there. You can barely see it. That's the way I like to see my uni marks, not fresh. And this one's barely distinguishable. If not for his name in the inside, it actually would have made it very, very difficult to ID the guy. And uh, it's hard to see, but he does have his name on there. It was just a loose dead stock top I got maybe about a year ago. And the price has just started going a little nuts, but. It's just kind of getting into a little bit of the used stuff here. And this is cool. I actually have a set of P47s, which, which are cool because you can see the limey green on them. And another thing I wanted to talk about in the trousers is this is, this is going to be how the best way to dis decide whether they're World War II. Or at least that's what I use. The pocket seam ends at the belt, and you got the one-piece, two-piece waistlines. So you can kind of see the difference on that. And also, of course, it has the one hole for the button, which makes it the actual P47. You see that? It's going to be 100% P47. And here's another top I got. Front pockets have been removed, which, you know, there's a lot of discussion about whether it's post-war or what have you, but I have talked to some guys who said that sand used to get in their pockets all the time, so they either tucked them in or cut the pockets out. And I would think they probably would just tuck it in. I don't see the point of cutting the pockets out. In case you need them, they're there. If you don't, you tuck them, right? This is a very cool piece. A lot of people don't know about these tops here. This has the vertical buttonholes, as you can see. Most of them are going to be slanted. So this does have the verticals, which is a really cool piece, and it's a very big size. I think this is a 44 as well. And here's just a really clean, nice... You know, size 40, P41 top. There's a different type of marking here on this one. I believe it's going to be... It looks like it's 44 some month. I'm not sure. Here's a cool piece. This is a lady's top. Very, very tiny lady. And you can see her. She put her little name tag on there, which was kind of cool. She didn't want the other girls stealing her shit. So she said, I'm putting my name on this bad boy. Okay, when we go over here, we're going to have some of the paramedics.